dewberry blossoms and look at here young dewberries dewberries are a relative of the blackberry but they're larger juicier and sweeter two weeks these will be ready maybe sooner nice little spot Beautiful day. Well, hello, campers and lovers of the great outdoors. I'm Donnie Pavlini of Donnie Pavlini Outdoors. And today we're going to do a little bit more looking at gear. Particularly in this little video, sleeping gear. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to dial in or home in on, zero in on, the perfect sleep system for you. Well, this video is going to have two parts or phases. In uh, phase one, I'm going to pretty up the woods because that's important. you got to have a nice setting. In phase two we're actually going to get down to business about the gear. So let's just go ahead on to phase one. Well, got that little job done. Now, phase two, let's look at the camping gear. Your sleeping system will have a huge monumental impact on your enjoyment of outdoor camping and being able to function in general the next day and I gotta have a good night's sleep and one of the ways that I do is with a pillow yeah yeah I like pillows camp pillows uh, I've had several kind in the past I've been bringing a pillow with me camping oh for years now because I know sleeping out in the woods, for me, a pillow is absolutely necessary. This is the Magellan Small Camp Pillow. Uh, I've been carrying this or one like it now for over two years and I, I really like it. But they've just come out with this one, a large plush camp pillow and the measurements on it is 20 inches by 12 inches. It says warm cotton flannel on one side and cool polyester taffeta on the other. Now, I haven't tested the, uh, the cool side or whatever. I just don't like that, this fabric kind of stuff uh, against me. But maybe it is cool. I'll find out. But this right here is going to make your night's sleep infinitely better than not having it. It's going to be better than sleeping uh, with your, you know, with your head resting on your pack if you're ground dwelling or rolled up clothes if you're in a hammock. This will be a better option. Now for me, I am not a lightweight or ultralight backpacker. It is definitely worth the little bit of room and what little weight it has. Definitely a must-have for my kid. With a sleeping system, I cannot overstate this either for me. I am 52 years old and I've got to have a decent roll mat. I prefer the self-inflating kind. I've tried several kinds and own several kinds, but the self-inflating mats and I'm of the opinion that, I mean, the one inch is okay, inch and a half is better, and so forth and so on. The thicker, the more comfort, but the thicker, the more bulkier it is. So you have to figure out exactly what's going to work best for you. 
guys, thanks for hanging out, as always. And from Donnie Pavlini Outdoors to you and yours, get out there in the woods, take a look at your gear. You may want to do a little tweaking. Have fun, and we'll see you there. Take care.